if you want to have an international dimension to your life, uh, to a great extent, you have to come out of your own background and learn, <laughs> appreciate, show empathy for the difficulty of the people that everybody carries their own cross in their backgrounds, as the, we, the Catholics, say. Uh, and it's not easy. And you have to sort of pull down your ego and lead from behind when the chance arrives. I remember that once the World Bank asked me to help the people that were taking office in Mandela's government. And off I went to South Africa. I didn't know anybody. I'd never been there. I had to find who their future leaders would be. And I had to rely on local scholars to, to make that uh, training possible. And uh, I didn't want to meddle into their views and the way that they were doing. I was just a World Bank official making things possible in a difficult environment because, you know, being a World Bank official there was quite suspicious at the time. Uh, but I think that, you know, I did a relatively good job uh, by leading from behind. Most of the people that I collaborated uh, saw me as so unassertive and unassuming but they probably thought I was a bit dumb. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't care as long as the job was being done, right? Uh, uh, they were the ones that were in the front line. I was just <laughs> stepping in when things were going the wrong way, right? Uh, I remember that once wanted one, one of them wanted to break the back of the Africana. And I said, listen, you do that and you will you will forego any inv international investment and you need it because there's not enough money around. And so by small interventions like that, I managed to instill some degree of trust and confidence into the people. But largely it was their job and they were going to live in South Africa. They had to lead their own country. I was just there to make things possible. So leading from behind, even under adverse circumstances, it, it's crucial. Uh, but it takes, you know, it takes understanding what what your role is. You're just there for for the time being. <laughs> we are in life for the time being, right? Not much more than that, and it doesn't last that long either. <laughs> I like it. Uh, unfortunately, <laughs> yeah. COVID COVID has taught all of us. We are oh, here. Yeah, you're telling me, yes, yes. It's frightening, really. Yeah, we don't know when we have to go. Yeah. And when you are here for time being, and I love one statement of yours, when we are talking about working with multicultural, multinational, and mm. you're talking about empathy, yes. and you're talking about taking the back seat, pull down your ego, pull mm. down your ego. Yeah, I love yeah, yeah. <laughs> pull down your ego. And then working with people, understanding them, and taking it forward. Mm. As, I think what you have given us this evening uh, to me and uh, the attendees who are on the various platforms is when you are working in a multinational, multicultural, multidimensional areas, no egos, bow yourself down, understand, then respond with empathy. Hmm. You hmm. actually gave a, a very powerful word called empathy. Wow. Dr. Alfredo, that's what the leadership is. 